What's up, YouTubers? Hey, I got a uh, got a uh, brake band brake for my little Indian from the uh, old school mini bikes. I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, they sell the whole kit, and uh, I'm gonna try and put it on today. It came in the mail yesterday. Uh, but, uh, been riding it forever without a brake, which uh, makes it pretty challenging. Anyways, got the whole kit in today. and comes with all the screws, belt, bracket, and then a nice little cover bracket to make the whole thing look nice. Also came with the uh, brake line and a new handle, which I've got an old rustic one that I think I'm going to try and use and just save that for another time. The whole kit was like... Uh, I think it all came out to like 70 bucks or something, but it's fairly inexpensive. Give you a whole little parts and uh, assembly chart, which uh, probably won't need, but I'll look at it if I need to. Anyways, uh, looks like the band comes with a welded bolt, which is a little bit disappointing because uh, once the belt wears out, I have to buy one specifically from them. Um, which I won't. I'll just uh, put a new bolt and weld it onto the new belt. But I'll still buy the belt from them more than likely. Anyways, uh, we got that. And the bracket. Bracket's going to go on right here. Real simple. Um, then this will go over the top of it like that to hide it all. Make it look better. Which uh, I've always liked the clutch sticking out. I think it looks much better. I've got some nice pictures of it like that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, my number one fear with this is because I've got a big five horse in it. The clutch sticks out quite a bit. Um, I foresee a problem with this hitting the uh, shield hitting the clutch. But we'll find out real quick. I'm going to mount this. Or here, we'll just check it real quick first. If I got this up on there tight, let's see. And I put that up on there. Yeah, I can, it's hitting already. So, uh, old school mini bikes. Note, you need to extend these out a little bit or uh, provide some washers, which they do not. Um, that's a pretty standard Indian. I mean, this is what most people are putting in their little Indians if they have one. Uh, this is a 1969. And it's a mean little booger. So, anyways, I uh, I have some washers. I first saw this problem beforehand. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put those behind the plate. Of course, with any mini bike, you need to use Loctite. These little machines just vibrate to pieces. Reminds me of an old Pino. They just rattled to pieces besides the uh, exploding gas tank in the back, you know. That wasn't a plus. So anyways, put some Loctite on here. I'm gonna make sure they don't come loose. All right, I'm going to slip uh, some washers in the back, just bring it out just enough to keep that bolt off. I'd prefer a little bit longer, but I could go one more shim, but then it really sticks out. So this would be the bare minimal right here, and uh, we don't want to put that on yet. This band will actually connect up here, and you'll use a two-bolt system, one to uh, tell it where it where you want it to sit so you can adjust in and out um unfortunately this won't adjust out enough for mine is which is why we're using the shims or washers whichever you want to call them anyways they come with two two bolts one smaller or nuts one smaller than the other i'm going to use this, the uh flatter one on the back side And for me, I need just the bare minimal on there. And I almost forgot that Loctite. 
and that's an important one this thing will move quite a bit just put us a dab on there and then like I said for me I just man I just barely want it on there Oop. <laughs> Too bad one of y'all can't talk. You told me I forgot to put that other bolt on there, huh? Anyways, you put this one on first. This is your tightening nut. I'm going to drop a little bit more on there now. Okay, so back to the smaller one. Just want it on there a little bit for me. Hopefully that's going to stay. Heck, I think I need to go a little bit less even. Tighten this one up. This is your positioning bolt and tightener. And once you get it on there, you can figure out where you like it the best. Be sure and straighten up your band before you put it on there. They get tweaked in the mail sometime. We're just handling them. I like that. I'll give it a little torque here. That's a uh, 9 sixteenths. You need a 9 sixteenths and a uh, half inch for the most part. Okay. You know what I did? I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? Uh, that's great. Let's uh, take it back off. Okay, we're going to... Uh, Attach this through the top. Got the two bolt up plates. Up right here's where your brake's going to go. Put your uh, tightening bolt on first. All right. I'll go ahead and shoot some more uh, Loctite on there. All right, I'm gonna go in that third top hole there. For me, I just want a little bit of this nut because uh, I need all the extension I can get. Hopefully that's gonna hold. Okay, we tighten this one up. Do a little cheat and just rock it back after you get it tightened up a little bit. That'll start tightening it. Make sure your band's straight. They get a little crooked in the mail or just handling. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a little winch on that. All right. Got my two washers. I'm going to add a little bit of Loctite on there. There's really no easy way to do this, but I find this is the best way to get the washers and bolts and everything. Okay, I guess we're gonna start the other one first. <laughs> oh, dang it. there they went. All right, let's start over again.
Best part is I don't have to take the clutch off. Yet. I don't think I'll have to. On. Okay, now I'm going to adjust where I like my band. And we're going to tighten up under here on that other bolt. Oh, and that would be the uh, 916. All right, it clears everything. Put a final torque on there. Try and keep it where it is. All right. One more torque on the back bolts. All right, I like that. Okay, so we got our brake cable here. Brake cable, guess could have showed you that. Comes with just a wire, and they give you a wire nut for it. The other side comes with a ball like this. Everybody see it? Your standard. I would have liked seen something a little more better than this, but that's all right. I'll make it work. Okay. Range just where I like it. And it comes with the other parts here, which got a spring. Those two are for the uh, plate. There's your lock nut, everything. All right, this is a tensioner to keep the the. Uh, Okay, it all looks good. So we're going to take our sleeve here. And it's got an Allen in the inside to tighten it up. Or usually they do. Just goes right through there. Send our wire through. Put your spring on like that. I'm assuming. Okay, um, I'm doing a little thinking there. What's going to be best? Let's see what they say about it. Yeah, spring does go in the center like that to keep it um, spread apart. But, man, it's it's pretty tight. I'm going to wear some of that brake, down, brake pad down before, uh, before it sits in good.
but that's what it is so okay I'm gonna put our uh, butt screw on I'm just gonna beat it to uh, tension the cable here oh need a screwdriver Now this is where you could use two people. I don't have two people today, so I'll be doing this myself. A pair of pliers would have helped too, but we'll make it work. Just get a little tension on it first. Well, there it is, folks. That seems to be working. Gonna take a little adjustment, of course. And go out and let I'm gonna let it rub a little bit, readjust a little bit. That's why I'm leaving it pretty loose right now. I don't want to go tightening it up and then have it just burn the belt up. And I need a new belt right away. Band, excuse me. Okay, well I like that. It's working. Okay, so this will go on next, and woo, I can bend it out a little bit, but it is, man, it's like, you could put a matchbook cover through it probably. Um, other thing about this was the screws. The screws that they send you are just a uh, metal tap screw. Meaning this, this, these aren't uh, threaded. So you'll need a good torque on these. Um, probably best to use a drill if you can, like a cordless drill. Um, Cause they're not gonna start. They just drilled the holes, which is fine. I, I'd prefer a bolt and a nut, but this guarantees they're not gonna come out. That's a plus. Anyways, you get the idea. I 
Now I'm not going to put it on for this. Keep you all waiting. I'm probably coming back to it. But there it is right there. There's the end result. Um, you figure out how to run. You like how you like running your cable and all that good stuff. But pretty simple. I mean, it'll take but 15 minutes or so. All right. Oh, and there's the brake lever they send you. It's pretty much identical to what I got, so, but mine has two screws in it instead of a layover clamp. All right, y'all. Thanks. Peace.